Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Last time we gained a new party member in the form of... Tala! The Sage. He's a mage. He's a pretty powerful mage. But he needed our help to defeat the monster at the end of this dungeon, which... Uh, we are fully healed up, aren't we? Let's just check for the time being. Yes, we are! Um, this place back here, actually, you can uh, save here, I think. Good question. I think you can save anywhere in this version. No, you can't. Only when you're standing on this thing. It allows you to use save. And things like uh, items like tents, which you can usually only use in the overworld. You can use on those circles in dungeons as well, which is very useful. Because usually you'll find those before big fights. And you'll want to heal up fully for that, of course. Ice Rod. Hmm. Equipment. Rydia. Intellect goes up and attack goes up massively as well, actually. Um, the thing is, wouldn't I want Tella to have uh, to have that? Oh, he only uses... His spirit goes down, but his intellect <coughs> goes up a little, but not as much as it would for... Uh, for Rydia, so let's optimize. Actually, let's optimize everybody just in case. That optimize button is a really nice addition, actually. Just pressing optimize and having the game decide what would probably be best for you. Which would give you the best stats. Maybe not situationally the best, but... It's a... What the fuck is recall, even? Oh, yeah! He uses a, uh, a move that he, uh... Has forgotten, I believe. We use recall. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Is everybody gonna counter now with Osmos? Really? No. Bubble. What does Bubble do? The thing I'm wondering though is, does that mean that Tella now has in his white magic tap a spell bubble? Did it rate all of our max HP? It feels like it might have. Or did it just heal us? I don't. I can't see that raising our max HP. Abilities, Tella. White magic, white magic. No. No, it did not do such a thing. <laughs> um, magic, Tella, Cura. And let's get going! Rydia is really, like, vulnerable, and you pretty much need to heal up after every battle. And she's gonna die in the boss battle, I can assure you that much. There's no way she's gonna stay alive. I mean, I want her to stay alive because she's gonna get massive experience. Well, she probably won't stay alive, if I'm being very honest with you guys. This might actually do the trick. Tala might not have to do anything. Tala still has to do something. Eh. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Did he just create more enemy? That's okay if I get more experience. Because that's a really good grinding encounter, if that's the case. I don't think I got any more experience. I might have. I don't know how much I would usually get for that encounter. Also, I don't know if I'm going the right direction. I fucking hope I am. Well, at least we know to uh, attack just this one on the back with Rydia and... Actually, let's do Cecil just to be sure as well and then use... Tella to attack the entire party. Which ends up being just one monster. <laughs> Which is gonna do a lot of damage, actually. 426! That's a decent amount of damage. And Rydia learned Cura and Warp. So Rydia has just become useful. She now knows Cura. Talking about which, uh, I feel like we're getting close-ish to... Oh, fuck. To the end here. 
So, do we have any, like, mana items? I don't think we do. We've got one ether. I'm gonna use it on Tala for sure. Because Rydia should become a little bit more useful. Uh, still not too, too useful. I feel like there's gonna be, like, an Aether or an Ale Alexa uh, down there. Probably won't be, gonna be honest with you. It might heal the one in the back? No, it didn't. I mean, it very well could have. Because he's yellow. I think this will give me like 160. 211 experience. Wow. Ancestor gained the level, which is always good. Uh, this is a secret path, at least. It's got to lead somewhere. Somehow. I'm gonna find out, because I feel like there's something good back there. There's gotta be, right? Talas Thunder will probably finish these guys off, because yes, Talas is powerful, those guys are weak. Actually, how much did that give me experience-wise? So, the other time, it did give me more experience. It's very good to know. But I'm getting kind of tired of all these encounters. Let's just attack with Rydia, attack with Cecil. And I know that one Thunder from Tala will defeat everybody. It's so satisfying seeing those high numbers with the word weakness. This doesn't give me 120. Doesn't make a huge amount of sense, to be honest. The problem is you can't see if you're walking anywhere or if you're just stuck on a wall. I mean, surely there's got to be something around here, right? I feel like I'm walking now. But I'm I can't be sure. That is uh a thing that this game does luckily it didn't work. Uh let's use a recall because it's fun. Um Toad is such an annoying status effects. They're all, they are weak to blizzard attacks, wow. <laughs> Look at Rydia! Uh, now I need to use, uh, I think, a Maiden's Kiss uh, to get rid of the Toad. Yeah, Kyo's Toad. It's a really weird status effect. Yeah, the GBA version of this is better with the hidden pathways, because you can actually tell if you're progressing or not. At least a little bit better. Uh, it's ready. Uh, let's use Thunder. Because why not? Okay, so tell us all out of MP. Let's stop wasting time and effort and MP by trying to find this secret area. And let's just keep on going with the game because I feel like otherwise I'm going to be a little bit fucked. Wait a second, this is a totally different area! Oh my... Oh shit. <laughs> Usually that would be pretty good, right? But right now that's not good because I want to progress with the game. Unless there's a very, very powerful item here, which I can use, which will help me. This is not good right now. Oh, very much not good. Please don't spawn new enemies. Don't spawn new enemies. Thank you. Die. Leave. Be dead. 
I wonder what we're gonna find here because I spent quite a bit of effort getting here. More than I should have probably. Is this the way we're supposed to go? Probably not, no. It's just a chest here with a feathered cap. That better be very fucking powerful. Equip. Feathered cap. One more defense, one more evasion, two more magic defense and two more magic evasion. Don't particularly know if that was worth it, to be honest with you. At least tell I got uh, the leather cap now. Actually, probably should switch that up. Because I want Tala to survive because of damage reasons. Then again, I want Rydia to survive because of... ...experience, so... I want both of them to survive anyway. So how do I get back now? That's the question. Do I have to walk up? I think I have to walk up. Tala, you useless piece of shit. I think I walk up and then right again. I think that's where I go. At least that feathered cap is going to give me a little bit of an advantage. I mean, one point doesn't seem like a lot, but it's... On the other hand, it's a 12.5% increase on, like, defense, because 8 going to 9. In percentages, that's a pretty decent, uh, decent upgrade. This early in the game. Of course, an actual point leaves a little bit to be desired, but I think the percentages are more important than the actual points, to be honest. So I'm not going to use warp to warp out of the dungeon unless I reach the end of this episode, which is almost actually the case. Oh yeah, of course, the Ice Rod. The weak to Rydia's physical attacks as well now. Don't use Toad on Cecil. No effect, good. Die. I said die. I don't like you. We're surviving fairly well so far. I mean, if we don't have a... Healing spot before the boss, we're gonna be fucked anyway. Because I don't have enough potions or ethers to get HP and MP back to the point where it needs to be after all of the shenanigans. And I don't think I have a tent either, so pretty much we're fucked anyway. And I don't know how to get back either. <laughs> so that is a little bit of a problem. And I don't know... I can't run. Which is annoying. I don't know why I can't run. Maybe that's a skill you get or one of your future characters has? But I just want to be able to run. Or is it like... Oh, it's a key combination. Yes. It's a... Uh, left and right bumpers to run. That's stupid. <laughs> I'm just going to keep running now, now that I know how to. Oh, now I'm poisoned. That's going to damage me in the overworld as well, isn't it? Uh, do I have an antidote? I don't have an antidote. I have one antidote. Don't like the fact that I had to use it there. I feel like at this point I'm walking into a wall. At least I figured out how to run, which is a really useful skill. Speeds up my progress in this fucking dungeon by quite a bit. I'll tell you that much. Well, I don't know if I'm progressing to any place here. I really feel like I'm not. Then again, it feels like I might be going in some right direction. 
Shouldn't have gone into that secret path. Shouldn't have gone into it, because now I'm gonna have to probably warp out the entire dungeon again, because I don't know where the fuck I am. Yeah, this just leads me back to... You know what? You know what? This doesn't even walk me out of the dungeon, just to the previous floor. Huh. That's useful. I thought... Oh, wait a second, there's another spell, which is, I think, white magic, um, which warps you out of the dungeon. So yeah, that's been it for today. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you have enjoyed this video, which hopefully you have. Next time, we're probably gonna die a horrible, painful death. Until then, oh, I already said you don't need forget to leave a like and subscribe so this is a little bit awkward until next time bye